Hey, what's going on guys? This is Guardians of the Galaxy and the X-Men Black Vortex Omega issue number one. So this has been a really nice ending for this saga that is the Black Vortex. Yeah, so I was thinking that I will make the whole video that is the complete story review also. So before that, here we go with this review and I'm gonna read some review of from Kaboom.com and Comic Vine obviously yeah today's new that is comicspectrum.wordpress.com and it's been this review by Adam Lamo it's been quite a good in the first couple of months I reviewed the initial volley into the Black Vortex crossover event and the Cyclops tie-in I was not particularly impressed with either chapter nor with the event as a whole with the exception of the Captain Marvel issue, which I thought was a great character piece, I have found the story less than stellar and missing any of the real gravitas that a 13 port event should have. However, I continue to follow the event to its Omega chapter, and despite how lack Gloucester. I found the whole experience. I thought it was one of the its stronger parts and a pretty satisfying ending. With this last chapter, we finally stopped the galactic game of Hot Potato and the interstellar high-speed chase to get down to business on what to do with an artifact that can grant cosmic power. I can't say we'll learn too much more about it, which has been a real issue with me throughout the series, but at least it plays a more prominent role with this final issue other than that of Mac. Guffin. Once all that is squared away, we begin to see the fallout of the event on each of our heroes and villains. Many head off on new trajectories and others must deal with new and unpredictable powers. We get a lot of the humorous banter that hasn't been seen since the Alpha issue and an ending that is quite touching. I think this last issue is much more a character piece than being plot driven and that's fine with me. Like the Alpha issue, we have Ed McGinn taking the lead on pencils this time supported by Javier Garon I think this two work good together and the change in styles was not very perceptible the number of inkers was also minimized which always helps keep the art more consistent the art on the Omega issue was definitely superior to that of the Alpha issue and this is super great and I really enjoyed it and th this is my words, not the, uh, that comic spectrum word. So, hope you guys will like it. So, you have to buy this book because those of you, I think all of you, most of them uh, already bought it. But uh, if you not bought it yet, so it, it should be. It should be. You should buy this book because it's really enjoyable and you will enjoy it everywhere as I always tell. Anyway, I'm not going to repeat myself in this one. Maybe you will think that I'm that it's a broken record. So here we go with com Kaboom.com review Marcus Hammond. So when one thinks about cosmic stories and Marvel comics, it's hard not to call upon crossovers like the Infinity Trilogy, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, and Infinity Crusade. Secret Wars, The First, Annihilation, The Kree, Scroll War, The Dark Phoenix Saga, or Jonathan Hickman's Infinity. That's a pretty serious list of classic and modern cosmic tales. Sam Humphreys, however, has added, added another crossover worthy of that list, the Black Vortex. So, the Black Vortex Omega picks up right where Legendary Star Lord 11 left off, with Kitty Pride succumbing to the Black Vortex and saving the planet of Spartax from an infestation of blood. This issue is a satisfactory final to a crossover that proves some Marvel writers can, in fact, craft an action-packed, well-packed crossover conclusion with the right amount of questions raised and answers given. So it's super cool and Humphrey's character's work is outstanding throughout the crossover and that aspect is really great. So it's really enjoyable. Hope you guys will like it too. So the verdict from comicvine.com what I can say is it's the first time in a while where the crossover even doesn't disappoint Black Vortex end and it's pretty satisfying but at the same time we get a lot of other stuff to love in this issue including a few things we are not spoiling here the book looks good and reads great so I highly recommend checking out one of the Marvel's better cosmic events so this is super cool and better than that some bad things are there that is very few and maybe you can call it only one bad thing the moment where everyone cheers for Kitty saying yes to Peter fell so sitcom why I know that's not a word but it's really cheesy 
I don't know why he said it like that, but it's super cool. Anyway, so you can enjoy it everywhere. So at first I was unsure if I was going to allow myself to get dragged into another Marvel crossover after being disappointed with so many of other, but it's kaboom! Five out of five. It's given by kaboom.com and it's super cool. Hope you guys have liked it. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more amazing shows. This is super cool and thanks for all of your love. Thanks for all of your support. So, Black Vortex Omega, this is the end of Black Vortex Saga, and we have to wait for more amazing shows they're gonna come up with. So, have a great day and adios.